What's going on and welcome to Quick Picks. My name is Tom Vecchio. I'm here to bring you three NFL player props for week six of the season. Let's jump right in. Starting off with Justin Jefferson. Anytime touchdown sitting at minus 110. The Vikings have a 24.25 implied team total there on the road to take on the Dolphins. The Vikings are three point road favorites. Surprisingly, Justin Jefferson hasn't caught a touchdown since week one. He did have a rushing touchdown a few weeks ago against the Saints, but hasn't caught a receiving touchdown since week one. This is a player that's playing at 97% of the snaps, running around on 97% of the dropbacks, has a 29.6% target share and a 41.3% air yard market share for the Vikings. All of those lead the team. And with back-to-back -back weeks of 13 targets, he still hasn't found the end zone via the receiving game. The matchup against the Dolphins is a good one. They've allowed 867 receiving yards to wide receivers. That's the ninth most in the league. They've allowed five passing touchdowns to wide receivers. That is the fifth most in the league. So all this shapes up to be a good matchup for Justin Jefferson to finally find the end zone via the passing game. Next up, Robert Tunyon, over 23 and a half receiving yards, the tight end for the Green Bay Packers. The Packers are at home. They are seven and a half point home favorites with a 26.25 implied team total against the Jets. This season, the Jets will have 270 receiving yards to tight ends. That is the 13th most in the league. We look to Robert Tunyon on the Packers offense overall, and he comes in with a 12.1% mark, uh, target mark share, which is rather modest overall, but Alan Lazard leads the team, and he's only up at 19%. The Packers are really spreading the ball around a lot this year. There's no one dominant target. And realistically, Robert Tunyon is one of the favorite targets for uh, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, all, add all this up, and Tunyon comes in projected for 29.5 receiving yards, hitting the over on his 23.5 prop. Finally, Saquon Barkley over, over 29 and a half receiving yards. The Giants are six point home underdogs going up against the Ravens, which should put them in a positive passing game script. They should be trailing, passing the ball to keep up. Uh, the Giants have just dealt with so many injuries among their wide receivers. Sterling Shepard is out for the year. Uh, Kadarius Tony has been ruled out for this week. Uh, Kenny Galladay has been ruled out for this, e this week. Wandale Robinson is listed as questionable. We look to Saquon Barkley. He comes in with an 18.3% target share, which is the highest on the Giants, you know, ruling out Sterling Shepard. He's the highest on the team, and all these players are ruled out. We've won them listed as questionable. He's already running around on 63.5% of the dropbacks, uh, Daniel Jones dropbacks. So this really should put him in a spot with all these players being out and them being in a positive passing game script to see plenty of action in the receiving game. We look to the Ravens and they're allowing the fifth most receiving yards to running backs. All this projects Barkley for 32.6 receiving yards, hitting the over on his prop. All right, so that does it for this week. I'll be back next week with three more player props.